Question number 15. You are a student and have an on-site job interview with company A. Just before you fly to the interview, you get a call, call from company B asking you to come for an on-site interview at their office in the same city. When you inform them of your interview with company A, they suggest you stop in after that. Company A has already paid for your airfare, airfare and uh, at the conclusion of your interview with them, issues you reimbursement forms for the balance of your trip expenses with instructions to file for all of your trip expenses. When you inform them of your added interview stop at, at the company B, they tell you to go ahead and charge the entire cost of the trip to company A. You interview with company B and at the conclusion, they give you travel reimbursement forms with instructions to file all for all of your trip expenses. When you inform them of the instructions of company A, they tell you that the only expenses requiring receipt are airfare and the hotel rooms, so you should still fail for all the other expenses with them even if company A is paying for it, because students always need a little spending money. What should you do? They have four choices. This question is an uh, ethic question. This test you are ethic. Uh, A. File for travel expenses with only one form. If charge only one form, it's not fair for this company because that company you should pay two. So A is not a good answer. B. Do as both recruiting, recruiting officers told you. It is their money and their travel policies. I, I don't think this is a good answer. C. Try to divide the expenses between both firm as best you can. I think this sounds is good. Eh? D. Tell all of your classmates to sign up to interview with those firms for the trips. This is not a good idea. So I think the good answer is C. Try to divide the expense between both firms as best you can.